When you start navigating within the menus of your scan tool, you may encounter a mode followed by a dollar sign and two digit number. What does it mean? We're going to find out next. This video is sponsored by LaunchTech USA, solutions with the power to perform fast and accurate OEM level diagnostics and repair. Visit LaunchTechUSA.com to learn more. OBD2 modes are organized into eight categories, the dollar sign to symbolize the hexadecimal code it represents. Here are the eight modes and what they mean. Mode 1 identifies what powertrain information is available to the scan tool. List the status of the OBD2 self-check monitors and sensors like the oxygen sensors and EVAP monitors. Mode 2 displays freeze frame data captured and recorded when a fault occurs. Mode 3 lists stored five-digit diagnostic trouble codes and is accessible by all code readers and scan tools. These are usually P codes. Mode 4 is used to erase stored fault codes and to reset the OBD2 readiness monitors. Mode 5 displays the oxygen sensor monitor screen and oxygen sensor test results, including minimum and maximum voltages. Mode 6 is an advanced diagnostic mode and is available on most full feature scan tools like the X431 throttle for reading actual test values for the non-continuous monitors. This is often referred to as data PIDs. Mode 7 shows the test values for continuously monitored systems. If the monitor has run and no faults are found, the vehicle can pass an OBD2 plug-in emissions test. Mode 8 is available only on full featured scan tools. This mode allows bi-directional communication between the scan tool and vehicle. Mode 9 is used to display vehicle information, such as VIN, PCM calibration, and more. Advanced scan tools use this information to auto-select make, model, and year so you don't have to. These standardized modes allow for quick communication between the vehicle and scan tool, no matter if the vehicle is a 1996 or a 2020. I'm Jason Stahl. Thanks for watching.